Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Super Mario Odyssey Superstar Mode. Last time, we got to Top Hat Tower. <laughs> this game is so hard. Um, yeah, to get to Top Hat Tower you need to do this ridiculous thing with rocket flowers instead of just flipping a lever. So, actually now we have to get through Top Hat Tower, which will require us to not use a frog because there are no frogs. Uh, I've done this before, but it's hard, so... Let's do our best. Essentially you gotta do that, uh, but without the bonking. <laughs> it may take a few tries. Thankfully there is a checkpoint here inside Top Hat Tower, so we do not have to do the uh, previous part again if we happen to mess up. Uh, I'd love to, Cappy, but there, there are no frogs. Look around, girl. There's no frogs. There's just Goombas. By the way, the Goombas will not help us. We can make a Goomba Tower, but we can't get the Goomba Tower onto this platform. So it won't give us any more height to get up there, which is what we actually need. Uh... I've seen it done with people doing a ground pound jump here as well, but I don't know how that would work. That's, that's like less height, so the triple jump gets you more height to start with, which seems like a better way of doing it. I'd love to throw you at a frog, Cappy, but there are no frogs here. There are just these Goombas. Interesting note, I think she's talking about the ledge we're standing on, which you can get to very easily without a frog. Okay, okay, we can do this. I have actually done this exact thing before, so... <sighs> so I should theoretically be able to do it again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the triple jump strategy is what I used last time. Mm. He bonking for some reason. Ah. Yeah, it's basically that, but better. <laughs> Thankfully you don't die if you mess this one up, you just have to try again, so we won't have to worry about collecting coins and taking a little bit longer that way. Uh, the first one, you know, you fell down a hole if you messed it up, so... Oh my goodness. I was expecting, I guess, more conventional difficulty. <laughs> like, tough platforming challenges. I mean, that's what we've been getting, I suppose. It's just very idiosyncratic. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come here. I'd love to throw you at a frog, Cappy, but there aren't any. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sometimes you do fall off the edge like that, but <sighs> it's not really a big deal. Can you go along this way? I don't know, let's give it a try. It looked close. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, that's not that hard then. <laughs> Those blocks are not there in the base game. 
Okay, so this part, yeah, you need to do a cap bounce, but it's not that hard. Uh, this is normal. These little Goombas are normally here. There would normally be frogs over here as well, instead of more Goombas. But again, that doesn't really make things that much harder. The first jump is the hard one. So, now that we're up here, we should be fine. Hello, I'm playing terribly. There we go. Yeah, normally there are only the little yellow Goombas, uh, which you can't capture. The like larger brown ones do not appear this early in the game normally. There we go. I'm guessing this is not a life up heart. It's nothing at all. <laughs> yeah, normally there'll be a life up heart in there to help to pre prepare you for the boss fight we're about to do. In this version of the game, there's nothing. <laughs> okay, so making good progress now. Oh my god, there's Hammer Bros. Hammer Bros on Top Hat Tower. Alright. <laughs> and Spinies. Don't forget the Spinies. Um, okay, Spinies go real fast down hills. I could capture one of the Hammer Bros and use them to take out stuff, but I'm not going to. Let's see how this boss fight has been changed. Hello! Now this text is the same as normal. Okay, so this fight is normally very, very easy. I'm guessing it's much harder now. Okay, this is the same as normal. I could speed this up by bopping the right one, uh, but I'm pretty bad at that, so I'm just gonna wait for them. Unless, like, it's gonna keep doing that forever? No, it didn't. Okay, he has a few more hats in this scene, I think. I think he doesn't have... usually has more, like, fewer hats in that part, I think. Okay, he takes more than two hits. Uh, normally, Spewit in this scene takes exactly two hits. I think he's maybe, his hats are maybe a bit faster? I'm not sure. Ah. Uh, okay. Let me just, uh, give that another shot. <laughs> I'm curious to see. I can capture these guys, right? Yes, I can become a hammer bro. I wonder if that makes the fight easier, if I bring a hammer bro with me. Or if, like, that's been considered and, like, it'll kick me out of my hammer bro or something. Let's find out. Yeah, it kicked me out. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, really? Spewit's not even in his, like, not Spewit. This guy's topper. Spewit is a different one. Spirit is, Spirit is the one who shoots out poison. <laughs> I, I know their names. I'm just a fool. <laughs> so yeah, this fight with Topper, I took damage during the part that's not even changed because I'm bad at video games. <laughs> oh, what? My hat went through him? Trans misogyny. I think bopping his other hats usually gives you hearts. He doesn't seem to be doing it right now, probably because... We are playing the hard hack. Two. Okay. Ah. Okay. So bring the the um, the. The hammer bro up does not really help you at all, so I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I'm going to try to do this skip, which is a thing that speedrunners usually do, but I'm not very good at. Basically, if you can get a triple jump, 
here. <sighs> With the right lineup. The geometry is all weirdly shaped, so it kind of messes you up. You can get into this thing like higher than you normally would, and that saves a bit of time, but I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Okay, here we go again. Okay. First part, easy. Pop. We grab the coins if we want, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it matters. I don't think there's anything in this game that, like, they may have- they, the mod might make it that you need, like, a trillion coins to do something. Um, in the base game, you, you never need coins. Like, for certain moons you do, but to complete the game, you don't. I think they've just basically given Tap Topper a lot more hats and an extra hit point. <laughs> Making this fight much trickier than it normally would be. Boop. Also, you can't get a life up hard, so you only have three hits. Actually, you may have more than one extra hit point. I haven't beaten him yet, it's possible he has like six health or something. Ah. Oh god. I'm impressed that the brutal fights are actually kind of hard. Because, <laughs> like, these are the, you know, joke recurring bosses, essentially. They're not supposed to be that difficult. Especially this one, which is, like, you know, an intro to the game. There we go. Take that, Topper. So we've just completed the rest of the Cap Kingdom in 12 minutes. Um, the, the first segment, just getting, getting to Top Hat Tower, which is supposed to not be a challenge at all and not be like any gameplay really. Took me over 30 minutes. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I, I was thinking that might be like a different logo. You know, Odyssey Superstar mode or whatever. But no, that's a normal logo. Okay, well let's head to Cascade and see what's different. Okay, um, all the vegetation's gone. It, it looks very arid. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's more difficult or if it, like, I don't think that makes it harder. But I assume something will make it harder. <laughs> like, I don't really associate dry grass with difficulty. Our first power moon. Okay. Um, I don't see a chain chomp. What are we doing for this one? Hmm. <laughs> Look at all the bubbles. <laughs> so many of them. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Oh, there's trillions of them everywhere. Okay. So, what are we doing here? How are we gonna get that? Cause that 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 is our first power moon. Maybe we have to do a first moon skip. Hang on, let me just check something here. Okay, this is normal. It looked like it might have been faster than normal. I I'm guessing we do a first moon skip and then we can come back and get it using the T-Rex. Because there's no chomp down here. Um and without a chomp you can't break that rock. I can see a T-Rex up there. Although, the T-Rex is uh, moving a lot more than it normally would be. It would normally be asleep. Okay, there we are. First moon skip. I don't... Th I think that's easier than normal. I think it's been changed so there's like less invisible walls or something. Let me just have a look. Yeah, yeah, there would normally be an invisible wall stopping me from walking along here. So I think you're just supposed to do first moon skip. And the Odyssey is already active. So yeah, you just intended to do first moon skip. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, the chain chomps have like swirly eyes because that's Skellix's avatar or whatever. Which is 
pretty cute. <laughs> uh, come up here and get that. So how do we... To capture a T-Rex that's not sleeping, you actually have to knock it out first. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Hmm... I don't get to charge into one of these walls? I don't know. Okay, well they're breaking everything. That's something. Also, yeah, that music is the, like, T-Rex music. Oh, that's different. Is that to stop you from bringing a chain jump in here? So you have to use the T-Rex? Hmm. Oh god. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm supposed to get that T-Rex. <laughs> um, oh, there's another one. It just respawned. Maybe if I bop it with a chump? I'll give that a try. Hang on, hang on. I'll go to the big chump. That's the one that's most likely to work. Hey, T-Rex. Hey, T-Rex. Ow. Okay, that does not knock out the T-Rex. What am I supposed to do then? Oh, hang on, that worked. Okay, okay, yeah, here we go, here we go, T-Rex time. Okay, let's go get our first power moon. <laughs> uh, before we do though, hang on, can we break this with the T-Rex as well? Is that what that's for? No, that is not to be broken with the T-Rex. Uh, and the trampoline here is gone, so we can't do uh, Dino Skip. I believe the purpose of the T-Rex is to come down here and break this, so we can get our first power moon. Up, ba da ba da da da, -da. yeah! <laughs> okay, so... I did- I already knew that would work, because I've done that before. If you do first moon skip and bring the, like, normal T-Rex down, then you can use the T-Rex to do this. Um... That'll unlock multi-moon on top of the falls. Which I think we couldn't have collected without getting our first power moon anyway. I think 1.1 still has that problem. Um, and we found a power moon. As you can see, we're now inside the rock. Um, we can just walk out, it's not a problem. But yeah, that does happen if you clip inside using a T-Rex. You can actually break the rock with the T-Rex if you line it up correctly, but you can also just clip inside. Which is funnier. I assume the cutscene will play now? Yes. Can we skip it? No. Uh, yeah, so we just want to put Cappy. We won't do that yet, but we will, eventually. Okay, I noticed, uh, while I was in the T-Rex, I noticed a bullet bill launcher over here. Which is new. Uh, there are no bullet bills in this area, normally. I assume the purpose of this is to fly over here. Yeah, and break that open, because the chomp- the chomps can't get in there because they can't go around corners. Hey, bullet. Yep. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! Blast through the rocks instead of chomp through the rocks. Huh. Okay, so some of the moons are going to be renamed? Interesting. Uh, let's try going this way. Uh, this looks pretty normal so far, apart from the lack of vegetation. Oh, hello. Uh, those are a little further down than they normally are. You can still get them, it's just a little trickier. <laughs> okay, we've got a chain chomp here now, that's new. 
Um, we could, I suppose we could break these from this side if we wanted. You don't really need to break them at all, as you can see. You can just walk around. Uh, there are normally Burbos on this bridge, but I think there are more now than there normally are. I believe there are two cloud platforms instead of one normally, so you have to do a bit more of a jump. Whoa! What just happened? This Joy-Con drifting. I really hope not. Hmm. I mean, I have others. Like, I can use another Joy-Con, but... <sighs> okay, we can't get into here using a Chain Chomp because there isn't one. So there must be another thing we're supposed to do instead. And we can't do Dino Skip to get up there because the dinosaur... The, plat uh, the trampoline the dinosaur would normally use is gone. Let me see. This looks too far away to be of any help, but let's see. Yeah, that's just way too far. Hmm. Okay, there's that bullet bill from earlier. It's too low in order to hit this and break it open. This is interesting. Like it's it's kind of more of a puzzle game than the original, but also like really precise and tricky platforming at the same time. Interesting, I like it. Uh, let's, let's go have another look at that chain chomp. I think there might be something over there we can break. Yeah, this Joy-Con is drifting a little bit. That's not good. I need to swap it out for another one next video. Okay, this chain chomp. Hello. Let me become you. Normally there would not be a chain chomp over here. You could bring the dinosaur, I suppose, but... Wait, do we have to bring the dinosaur all the way over here in order to... Yeah, I think that might work. If we bring the dino all the way over here, which we can do, um, the dino can just break through these rocks and I think it can jump just a little bit so it should be able to make its way through. Okay, come here dinosaur. We need to... Does a bullet work to knock out the dinosaur? Let's find out. Where's the dino? Oops. Hey dino. Yeah, break all that stuff. Come at me. Come at me. Ow. Okay, no, bullets do not work. Oh, hang on. That's that's a stunned dinosaur. Let's go. Okay. Okay, can the dino jump? The answer is no. Okay, let me try to think about this. Yeah, the B button does not jump. It sort of slashes around instead. So can we go through here? No, because this big rock has been added. Must be something else we're supposed to do in that case. Oh, what if I break all this stuff? I cannot break those, apparently. Even though they look very breakable. Hmm. What's the trick here that we're looking at? Yeah, this big rock is in the way and it can't be broken. It's a non-breakable kind of rock. So there must be something else we're supposed to do over here. You don't- I know you don't need to use like two player tricks to do any of this, 
uh, which I mentioned because I know there's a two-player trick to climb up using this platform. Uh, if you toss Cap Cappy in the right spot, you can get her on top of there, and then she can activate a flag up there, which lets you warp up. But we, I know we don't need to do that. This, this hack is completable in one-player mode. I think without using any major glitches, but I'm not really sure. I do know you don't need two-player, though. Uh, let me see. What am I missing? I can't go with this without any trouble. I'm kind of stuck, honestly. Um, anything else the T-Rex can break that might help me? Yeah. Hey chomp, this chomp normally doesn't spawn until after you've done the boss battle on top, so maybe it'll do something useful? Okay, no, that's been removed, so there's nothing there now. Uh, normally there would be uh, a pipe you can use to get on top of the top of that platform with it. Whoa, hang on, what? Look at that. That's like the floating island moon, but the, the, flo the floating island is gone. The moon is just hanging out up there by itself. That is weird. <laughs> I wonder if clipping out of bounds... Oh no, I already made this full. I can't try it. Never mind. Uh... Hmm. I think this is too low, but let me just have a quick look. Oh, the camera doesn't want to help. Yeah. Hmm. What am I missing? There be some sort of trick, um, like an alternate route or something that I just haven't noticed yet, but I can't think what that might be. After you've cleared um Multimino Top the Falls, like a series of platforms appear up there to help you cross. Uh, from, from basically here to up there, but they don't appear yet, so that won't be an option. Uh... Get those. <laughs> hmm. I may be stuck. <laughs> Let's try breaking some of this stuff and see if there's like anything hidden in these that wasn't there before. It seems like they it seems unlikely, but you know, it's maybe worth a look. Hmm. Because my thinking was you would do Dino Skip. Uh, which, but you have to use the trampoline that's normally here, but it's not here, so it's not going to be possible. Um, come here. Oh god, can the T-Rex just climb up everything? I'm sure the T-Rex can't climb up most things, that's weird. Um. Hey, come break this. Okay, I didn't break it, but now I can capture them and then break it. Okay, that's just that's just that. Um Yeah, the T-Rex has like uncanny climbing ability when you're not controlling them, but when you are controlling them they can't get past this. <laughs> uh and I have the feeling that they just can't get past that at all. Uh let me think, what else can we break? I think we can smash our way through that'll help us here. Oh hey, the moon's not there. <laughs> I have no idea if the intended way to do that was with the dinosaur, but I can't really think of anything else. So maybe that was the right way? There's a trampoline here. I wonder if that one could help us at all. Maybe. I 
Like, it doesn't bounce as very high as Mario, but... Is the T-Rex? Maybe? It looks too far away, though. There is normally a trampoline there, but you don't normally use it because the other one is so much closer to where you need to be. <laughs> and right near where the T-Rex happens to spawn as well. Um... Hmm. Coming up on 30 minutes and I'm stuck again. <laughs> uh, have a little think. Derek just kind of patrols this area. So there's no health pickups anywhere, so I'm gonna die a lot. <laughs> what a boop boop boop. Oh, this one, alright. Hmm. Like I'm thinking about moons we can get without doing Milton atop the falls, and there are a couple, but none that we can really practically reach, as far as I can tell. There's one in the 2D area, but we can't get into the 2D area without being able to break break through that thing that we can't break through. Mm. Yeah, we can't normally climb up there without two-player mode. Um, which we don't have, so that's not going to be an option. Um, bullets can't gain height, like, at all. They're stuck on the same vertical orientation in this game, unlike in Galaxy, where they can fly in all sorts of weird directions whenever they want. <laughs> um, maybe I'm supposed to clip out of bounds somewhere and get into it that way, but it seems unlikely. Hmm. And yeah, until you do Molten Atop the Falls, very few options are available to you for moons to collect. Um... Which is one of the reasons this part is, is so very tricky. I can, I can see... I can see the 2D area in there and I can see it's harder. Because I can see there are spinies in there, so you probably are supposed to get into it, but... I can't see how you would possibly do that. Um... Like, the most obvious way would be to bring the bring the dinosaur, but you can't, because this rock is too tall and dinos can't jump. Um, chomps just basically can't be moved from where they are, so they won't be of any help. This one is the closest. Uh, but there's essentially nothing within its radius now that's breakable. Got that sign, but... Did I read the sign already? I think it just tells you how to do a spin. Yeah, a spinning throw. Yeah, it hasn't been changed, it's just been throw. Which is a useful move, but doesn't really help us here. Hmm. Oh, not that moon. Using moons to heal is probably a good idea. Um, when you collect a moon, even one you've already gotten, you get healed to full health, so... Maybe a little handy. Um, hello. Hello, geometry. What's happening here? Oh, it's just a start. Can't go any further than that. Hmm. Hmm. I, I may need to look up what you're supposed to do next because honestly, I have absolutely no clue. I'm just, I'm just completely, completely without. A trace of idea as to what you're supposed to do here. Ugh. I think you can make that, but it doesn't actually help. Because that's where we were anyway. Uh... I need the T-Rex again? I don't know. Hello, T-Rex. Ah, 
Oh, okay, you don't need to stun it. You can actually just capture it if you happen to be above it. it makes things a, bit, things a bit easier. Uh, let's knock this pole down in case there's anything hidden there. It doesn't look like it. Uh, break that. This T-Rex is too big to fit there, basically. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, dino skip isn't going to work because the dino uh, is much lower and much further away from where it needs to be. Uh, you can't cap bounce after you've uncaptured something like this dino. Um, normally that wouldn't be a problem because Mario can dive from over there onto that ledge without any trouble, but in this case it is a problem because you can't do that. from even further away. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it looks like this bridge is basically a bottleneck that we can't get past. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, I'm stuck. Um, I am going to leave this for a bit and hopefully think of a solution by the next time I play. Um, <laughs> Thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed the parts I managed to do, which is most of it, um, but then not this bit. <laughs> uh, maybe if I break this stuff? Hang on, l let me just see if the bullet can travel this far. I, I don't think it can, I think it's too low, but let's just have a quick look just to be sure. Because again, bullets cannot gain height. Um, Oh, that's why those rocks are there. They're there to mess with you. I see. Oh! 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 Okay, so bullets can gain height by going up slopes. Uh, that never comes up in the base game. Interesting. Come here, bullet. Okay, that's still not high enough to get onto this ledge. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll blow up those things on the left side, on the right side there, though. Right, left side, over there. That stuff. <laughs> okay, this this is interesting. I'm just gonna experiment with this a little bit more, just because I've made a discovery <laughs> before I actually end the video, even though I said I was ending the video. Uh, yeah, so I take it over here. Okay, so I can break these with the bullet. Let me just break the other one and see if anything interesting happens. Yeah, I don't think there are any bullet bills in places with slopes in the base game, so you just never notice this. Interesting quirk of the game's behaviour. Mm, that doesn't help me. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm supposed to... Hmm. I guess I could just jump under there, but then I'd die, but it'd work. Um... Hang on. Okay, if you go up here, there's a little bit more height on this slope, so maybe if you bring the bullet onto the slope, you might be able to get high enough to do something more interesting. I, I think I'm discovering something here. Hang on. Okay, yes, yeah, so I just broke this stuff, which means it is possible to get a bullet up high enough to get past this blockage. You cannot do the same thing with the T-Rex, but a bullet is also explosive, so... Let's, uh, let's give this one more little look. 
They don't last very long is the main problem here. Yeah, they explode before they can go very far. Uh, you need a really optimal route. I think you probably want to come onto this side of the bridge and then go off that side and go through there uh, in order to get to the wall. Okay, and then, and then, yeah, I, I think, I think I know what I'm doing. Okay. Oops. Okay. Okay, yeah, I... You've got to go so fast, I just... I, okay, let's just try this again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah. It's uh, quite tricky to reliably steer yourself around these corners and stuff uh, while messing with the camera. Yes! Yes, that's what you do! Oh my god! <laughs> this game is amazing! Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna call it there. Next time we take on this 2D area, it's a little bit harder. It's got spinies in it. Uh, I don't know if the part behind the waterfall is also harder. I'm guessing it probably will be. We can get another moon there, and then we can finally take on Madame Brood. This game is hard. <laughs>